Welcome to this floor and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall be taking you on a tour across the beautiful cities of West Africa. Africa is a large continent made up of 54 sovereign countries and each of these countries offer unique experiences for travelers. There are thousands of cities in Africa, but in this video, we shall be shining the light on the most beautiful cities in West Africa. West Africa is westernmost part of Africa. There are about 16 countries in West Africa and a total population of about 390 million people with each country boasting of its own beautiful cities. While not every country in this part of the continent can boast of having the most beautiful cities in Africa, there are however cities that are really standing out and compete at the international scene. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Considering the fact that there are thousands of cities in West Africa, we are going to focus on the most outstanding ones. So without any further ado, here are the most beautiful cities in West Africa. Number 1. Lagos, Nigeria now, let's begin with the most popular city in Africa, Lagos. Until 1991, Lagos used to be the capital city of Nigeria until it was moved to Abuja due to its rapid increase in population. The city covers a total surface area of about 1,171 km square and a population of over 25 million people. Lagos is loosely classified into two geographical, the mainland and island. A huge population of Lagosians live on the Lagos mainland. The most industries are located there. The mainland is known for its music and nightlife, which used to be a location in areas around Yaba and Surulere. However, in recent years, more nightclubs have sprung up on the island, making the island, particularly Victoria Island, Ikate and Lake Kifes 1, the main nightlife attractions. Lagos Island contains a central business district. This district is characterized by high-rise buildings. The island also contains many of the city's largest wholesale marketplaces such as the popular Idumota and Balogung markets. It also has the National Museum of Nigeria, the Central Mosque, the Glover Memorial Hall, and the Obas Palace. Another major part of Lagos Island is Marina. Neighborhoods in Lagos such as Ikoyi and Victoria Island have some of the most beautiful houses in Africa, such as House Ikoyi, owned by Folorunsho Alakija. Some of the biggest African celebrities live in Lagos. Another remarkable feature of Lagos is the Lake Ikoyi Bridge and the Third Mainland Bridge. Lagos is the entertainment hub of Africa and as a result has some of the most beautiful and luxurious hotels as well as beautiful restaurants. The economy of Nigeria is mainly dependent on economic activities in Lagos. Lagos is definitely one of the cities in West Africa you absolutely need to visit and discover. Number 2. Abidjan, Ivory Coast We can't talk of West African cities without talking about the beautiful city of Abidjan. Abidjan is the economic capital of Ivory Coast and one of the most populous French-speaking cities in Africa. Abidjan has a population of over 5 million people, which is 21% of the overall population of the country, and this also makes it the sixth most popular city proper in Africa, after Lagos, Cairo, Kinshasa, Dar es Salaam, and Johannesburg. It covers an area of about 2,119 square kilometers, a cultural crossroads of West Africa, Abidjan is characterized by high levels of industrialization and urbanization. The city expanded quickly after the construction of a new wharf in 1931, followed by its designation as the capital city of the then French colony in 1933. Abidjan remained the capital of Côte d'Ivoire after its independence from France in 1960. The completion of the Vridi Canal in 1951 enabled Abidjan to become an important seaport. In 1983, the city of Yamoussoukro was designated as official political capital of Côte d'Ivoire. However, almost all political institutions and foreign embassies continue to be located in Abidjan. Abidjan is one of the biggest seaports in sub-Saharan Africa. The two halves of the city, Northern Abidjan and Southern Abidjan, are joined by the House Wed Boigny, the Charles de Gaulle and the Henry Conan Bettina Bridges. The city used to be one of the most expensive cities in Africa till Launda and Jamana took over. Home to some of the biggest couples, the Kali Stars Abidjan is one of the biggest cities in Africa for nightlife. There is a lot to see and do in Abidjan and you won't regret your stay. Number 3. Accra, Ghana Now let's move over to Ghana and explore the beautiful city of Accra. Accra is the capital of Ghana covering an area of 225.7 square kilometers with an estimated urban population of 2.5 million. It is organized into 12 local government districts, 11 municipal districts and the Accra Metropolitan District, which is the only district within the capital to be granted city status. Accra usually refers to the Accra Metropolitan Area, which serves as the capital of Ghana, while the district which is within the jurisdiction of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly is distinguished from the rest of the capital as the City of Accra. In common usage, however, the terms Accra and City of Accra are used interchangeably. 
Accra is the Greater Accra Region's economic and administrative hub and serves as the anchor of the larger Greater Accra metropolitan area, which is inhabited by about 4 million people, making it the 13th largest metropolitan area in Africa. In 2008, the World Bank estimated that Accra's economy only constituted around 3 billion US dollars of Ghana's total gross domestic product. The economically active population of Accra is estimated to be 823,327. Accra is one of the most peaceful cities in Africa and offers quite a few interesting touristic sites. It is also home to some of Ghana's top celebrities. A visit to Accra will leave you in awe. Number 4. Dakar, Senegal Dakar is the capital and largest city of Senegal as well as one of the most fashionable cities in Africa with some of the top African designers those located in Wakam commune. The hills are the only high ground in the city, providing views of the entire area and area sweeping views of the city. The first hill is topped with Mamel's lighthouse built in 1864. The second hill was the newly completed African Renaissance monument built on the top, which is considered the tallest statue in Africa. Among the places of worship, there are predominantly Muslim mosques, the most prominent of which is the Grand Mosque of Dakar. There are also Christian churches and temples, Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Dakar, Catholic Church, Assemblies of God, Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. Dakar is home to some beautiful museums and hotels. While in Dakar, do not miss an opportunity to try the famous Re Senegalese known as Benachim. Dakar is one city in West Africa you absolutely want to visit before you die. Number 5. Abuja, Nigeria Going back to Nigeria, let's explore the beautiful city of Abuja. Abuja is arguably the most beautiful and cleanest city in West Africa. It is the capital city of Nigeria located in the center of the country within the federal capital territory. It is a planned city and was built mainly in the 1980s, replacing the country's most popular city of Lagos as the capital on the 12th December 1991. Abuja's geography is defined by Aso Rock, a 400-meter monolith left by water erosion. The presidential complex, National Assembly, Supreme Court and much of the city extend to the south of the rock. Zuma Rock, a 792-meter monolith, lies just north of the city on the expressway to Kaduna. Abuja has a population of over 3 million people and a surface area of about 1,798 km square. Abuja is home to several parks and green areas, with the largest one being Millennium Park. Millennium Park was designed by architect Manfredi Nicoletti and was officially opened by the United Kingdom's Elizabeth II in December 2003. Another open area park is located in Life Camp Guarimpa, near the residence of the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. Landmarks include the Central Bank of Nigerian Headquarters, the Nigerian Presidential Complex, the Ship House, the National Stadium, which was the main venue of the 2003 All Africa Games and some games, including the final of the 2009 FIFA Under 17 World Cup, Aston Rock, and Abuja National Stadium. Abuja has some of the most modern and organized neighborhoods in Africa with exquisite houses and clean streets. It also hosts some of the most beautiful and luxurious hotels and restaurants in Nigeria. Number 6 Freetown, Sierra Leone. Freetown is one of the oldest cities in Africa and it was founded in 1792. It is the capital and largest city of Sierra Leone. It is a major port city of the Atlantic Ocean and is located in the western area of the country. Freetown is Sierra Leone's major urban, economic, financial, cultural, educational and political center as it is a seat of the government of Sierra Leone. The population of Freetown were over 1,055,964 at the 2015 census. The city's economy revolves largely around its harbor, which occupies a part of the estuary of the Sierra Leone River in one of the world's largest natural deep water harbors. The country's state television and radio station, the Sierra Leone Broadcasting Corporation, is primarily based in Freetown. Freetown shares borders with Atlantic Ocean and the Western Area Rural District. The Freetown municipality is politically divided into three regions, East End, Central and West End of Freetown. Nearby is Kingsgate, built in stone with a statement inscribed, which reads, Any slave who passes through this gate is declared a free man. And it was this gate through which liberated Africans passed. Down by the Nava Wharf are slave steps carved out of stone. Before Freetown was established, this was where the Portuguese slave traders transported Africans as slaves to ships. Freetown is home to Foray Bay College, the oldest university in West Africa, founded in 1827. The university played a key role in Sierra Leone's colonial history. The college's first student, Samuel Ajayi Crowther, went on to be named as the first indigenous bishop of West Africa. National Railway Museum has a coach car built for the state visit of Elizabeth II in 1961. The big market on Wallace Johnson Street is a showcase for local artisans' work. The Freetown Peninsula is ringed by long stretches of white sand, 
Lomle Beach on the western side of the peninsula is a popular location for local parties and festivals. Number 7. Monrovia, Liberia Monrovia is the capital city of the West African country of Liberia, located on the Atlantic coast at Cape Mizurado. Monrovia had a population of 1,010,970 as of 2008 census. With 29% of the total population of Liberia, Monrovia is the country's most popular city and the most beautiful city in the country, with a surface area of about 194.2 square kilometers. Monrovia's economy is dominated by its harbor, the free port of Monrovia, and as the location of Liberia's government offices. Monrovia's harbor was significantly expanded by U.S. forces during the Second World War and the main exports include latex and iron ore. Attractions in Monrovia include the Liberian National Museum, the Masonic Temple, the Waterside Market, and several beaches. The city also houses Antoinette Tubman Stadium and the Samuel K. Doe Sports Complex Sports Stadiums. The arena at Samuel K. Doe is one of the largest stadiums in Africa, which seats for 40,000. The inhabitants of Liberia are extremely friendly and the city has a lot to offer to inhabitants and guests. There you have it, explorers. Those were some beautiful cities of West Africa. Did your city make the list? Did we miss out a city that was supposed to be on this list? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave your suggestions in the comments and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you enjoyed this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.